Hello, welcome to the channel. My name is Tim, I co-founded a fish farm hub. You can see back at the RAS, um, we are just having a quick tour of it and seeing any updates. It's been about five weeks since we we're here. So we're good to see what's changed in the place. But I can see already uh, in one of them there's some water. This is for the water pumps, they're gonna sit here. Uh, he just showed us them, we got them from China and they have different capacities. He's got like a small one that does 18,000 liters per hour and there's a bigger one that does 40,000 liters per hour. And um, he's got eight of the 40,000 liter per hour ones. Um, so that's an impro uh, 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 improvement since we were last here. We haven't seen that. This has actually got water in it now. So they're just testing out the system. So this one's got water and it comes from the spring here uh, on, on this pipe. Uh, and then this is the outflows. And we're just putting the pipes back on. But you can see here the how it works, like the water can come in at the level. So if you undid that one, you drain the whole tank. Um, but this level allows you to control up to about 50% of the water, so you could exchange. Oh, thank you. So you can uh, get rid of the water that's coming out, and uh, you just put that back. Who's going to get it? <laughs> um, anyway, you can control the water this way. So all of these tanks have these uh, outlets essentially, so that control the water level, so you can take it out, and then they're all connected up, um, and then so you pump your water through. He wants to do like a free flow system, so the idea is that your water is constantly coming in and out and you replace, he wants to replace about 20% of it per day. Um, and then the water will come from the spring up here and get out into that pond um, and it comes out that way. So I thought you'd like to see the, the, the RAS update. The drum filter here is for the RAS, so if you need to, if, if the free flow system isn't enough, you can actually filter your water then stick it back in so you recirculate it. Recirculating aquaculture system, RAS. Um, this is the disinfectant, the UV lamp, which dis um, disinfects the water. Um, what else did we see? And then he's also got a couple of feed machines. This is sinking feed, so you can use that for fish or for chickens. Remember he's a chicken farmer. Um, I don't know what this one is. This is another, this looks like another um, filter. And then, uh, sorry, feed. And then this one is the floating pellets um, machine. So that's quite cool. And then there's some dam liners here, which are much higher. They're, again, these are all imports from China, but they're much um, thicker material. So you can use that as a dam, as to basically stop water getting out of your ponds. Um, and then the last bit of kit here is, that's a 5,000 egg incubator. So you can use that for broilers, so for meat, birds. So he wants to do that for chickens. Uh, you can see he's not used it yet, but aspirations are there. And then this is another shed. So we, we looked at the shed out from the outside last time, but it's good to come in and see the improvements and the equipment and the aspirations that Andrew has, and then get a nice view of the, of the, of the barn next door to us where the chickens are currently in that barn and then the barn at the back for expansion so he's done he's done quite a lot in five six weeks not not the equipment here but just sort of tidying things up with the RAS and those types of things back with the chickens it's nice to see all the eggs this time uh, they've obviously not been uh, collected yet so they're being in the process of being collected for the day and then of course our BSF feed oh I just saw one being this is just fresh to come out I don't know if you saw that on it come out on camera, but I just saw that pop out. Um, and then, of course, all the feeds. Oh, BSF feed down below. Um, you can see, look, they're, mess, they're such messy eaters when they eat. So we get a bit of maize in there as well. Yeah, you can see. So just showing the, the team around. And, yeah, I won't spend as long on the chickens this time. You'll hear more about the rest, so let me carry on with that. I thought you'd like this. This is uh, one of the problems that Andrew is, mm. is having, is just with the, the maize. Mm. So you can see here an un, unbroken kernel. Well, to this one, if you are yeah. good for your fish, yeah. you don't think they're wasted. They will. Because mm. basically it can't be digested when, as easily when it's, when it's whole. Mm. So Andrew's saying he needs to sort of make sure that it's much, it should be much finer, like this, um, so that you're getting everything out. So he was just saying it's one of the challenges he's got with his chicken feed. Um, this is not good. Yeah, it's not, it's not good, mm. not good. Um, 
and Andrew works in the, uh, the tax, um, uh, what's it called, tax uh, group in in Kampala, in the capital. Um, and so it's, it's easier for him to do the administration around the import duties because agricultural products don't pay tax. So he can sort of uh, make, because it's a bit of a, it can be quite, um, difficult sometimes the process to get everything through clearing customs and Andrew of course is well placed to, to work with that so he's got an advantage there um, he knows the system and uh, these are bigger tanks uh, he was telling me the capacity of these are 72,000 litres these are the other ones are 18,000 uh, these so these big ones here um, and you can get up to 2,500 kilos of fish in this one and then the other ones you get 600 kilos of fish um, and then you harvest them at 350 grams or whatever um, so that's the plan probably just want to see this as well he's got this is where um, Andrew started from so pond you can see all the fish it's pretty cool um, he just put some maize in so he had a couple of pots he's got like a pond there a pond here I think there's a couple there one this is an abandoned one but he was just saying that he just didn't get the volumes that he wanted from ponds um, he sounds harder to manage etc so he wants, that's why he's moved to tanks. Um, but this is of course what um, RAD is all about. It's pond-based aquaculture uh, using the, we use the manure from there to feed our maggots and then maggots to feed our fish. Um, so it's quite a different approach to Andrew. This is like a high intensity, high tech, high cost system. Um, and our system is much um, cheaper because you know, you just dig some ponds um, feed is cheaper as well because we're using BSF and it's designed that way and they it's I think sometimes people compare the two but they are it's like comparing apples and pears they're different fruit <laughs> they're both fruit but you they're very different and it's the same with RAS and pond based um, production there's different systems so you have to treat them differently and get different things out of them uh, you get fish at the, at the end but the different strengths and weaknesses to them um, and then this looks like a natural type pond uh, and then of course the discharge will come out into the this pond at the back here um, but yeah some very you know six weeks since I was here five weeks some quite big improvements since I was here last and hopefully next time I come I'll actually see it in operation that'd be nice to see um, quite enjoy, I'd enjoy that uh, so yeah that's the, the RAS changes that have happened uh, I hope you've enjoyed uh, seeing that video and just learning a wee bit more about RAS. Um, I think it's an interesting concept. Uh, I think I'm a bit concerned just about the prices because you have a lot of, you've got to put a lot of money into feed and a lot of money into the capital and the operation costs. Um, and it's technically challenging to manage, um, but it's good to see Andrew trying something uh, and sort of doing well. Um, and sort of just you know, developing the area. Like the poultry, of course, is his main thing at the moment, um, and that's doing very well. Uh, so um, we'll have a look at that as well. But thank you very much for watching. Do subscribe, it does help us in the channel, um, and we'll see you on the next one.